Hey everyone, so my Rally Raid Level 2 Rear Shock has come in. I'm super excited and I'm ready to install. Um, this shock is a lot more robust than the stock. Fancy. So let's, let's get into it. One thing that I am going to do is strap this back wheel up so that when it drops, I don't have any issues with it. I'm doing it by myself, so this is going to help big time. So we are going to start by loosening the shock bolt up top first. Excuse the bike, it's a little dirty. What I did here was strap up the back wheel because I'm doing it by myself and this will help secure the wheel. And then this is the other side, I'm holding I'm holding this side with a 17 millimeter wrench. This side, I will use a 14 millimeter with an extension. And what we're gonna do is, we are just gonna loosen it for now. I'll slip the wrench underneath. I will hold it in place. Do something of that matter. So the wrench in place. Just want to loosen it. So the trick with strapping the wheel up, it really saved the day because I pulled this bolt out, the linkage, the bike didn't move. I pulled this bolt out for the shock, the bike didn't move. So the wheel didn't move. So that little trick, I highly suggest it. And now what we'll do is loosen the top shock or the top of the shock and it's gonna come right out. We'll throw the extension on there again. I did have to throw the wrench on the other side. It's loose, but it's not that loose. So now it'll hold. There goes the nut. It dropped somewhere. All right. I'll find it. I'll 
hold the shock because I pulled this bolt out. And the whole thing's coming. Yep. Here we go. That's it. There's the shock. That easy. A couple bolts. A little ingenuity. And it's out. So, the difference in shocks. Here's the stock. Here is the rally raid. The springs are a lot more robust. It looks like a lot better quality springs and shock. As in with most of the projects I do on my bike, I assess the situation, I do the job, I make mistakes, I fix, and you learn from it. The shock is in. I'm gonna show you a few of the mistakes that I made that, uh, that weren't on camera. Probably a lot of cursing at the time, but we figured it out. So, let me show you now. Okay, so one of the issues I ran into when putting the Rally Raid shock in, because it was so robust, so much more robust than the stock, I had to take this whole knuckle out. I had to take this whole piece out. Even though I have my bike strapped up and the old one came out, this one was fatter. So because of this knuckle, it wouldn't, it wouldn't slide in. So I had to take this out. That's one thing that you might have to do. My second mistake was after I put the new shock back in, Okay, I put the bolts in. I put this one in first, uh, not tight. I put all the bolts in, loose, and then my plan was to tighten it up. But as you can see, this link is in the way of this bolt. So before you put everything together, make sure that you tighten the shock first and then you tighten the link because you know you can't get to it. I didn't want to tighten that with open end wrenches. You know, it's a good way to um, to mar it up. So, um, so yeah, put the shock, tighten the shock in first, and then put your link back, um, and you should be good. Now, I used on the bolts going through. I used. A little bit of grease because they were bone dry um, it was a little hard to get in at first uh, I put grease and it. it was better so, um, so that's that's another trick and like I said I did this by myself um, I can't tell you enough how much that strap helped keep everything in place I tightened it a little bit and loosened it a little bit to get everything light uh, tightened up um, and uh, the job was actually pretty easy, so anybody can do it. Now it's time to take this bad boy off the stand and see how it feels. So as expected, the suspension is a lot, a lot sturdier. The ride feels different. The hop on the bike, it feels a lot different. You know, I'm about 200 pounds, and when I got on the bike before, it would just, it would just pogo all over the place. It would sink like crazy so when I sat on it. It made me feel bad, <laughs> but. Now, 
this is this is tuned to my weight and my riding style and uh, it just feels a whole lot better when you're riding it it actually feels strange <clears throat> because the suspension is so tight um, I am about 5'7 on a good day and so yeah be aware that the level 2 rally raid does raise the bike a little bit. The level 2 rally raid is supposed to give you the full motion of the OEM shock. Um, but it does raise the seat height a little bit. So uh, if you're height challenged, you might want to go with the level 1. Um, it gives you a little bit less travel, but it keeps the standard seat height. So that's also something to keep in mind. But even though the seat height's a little higher, overall I'm, I'm pretty happy. The suspension feels good. Um, it feels a hell of a lot better than the, the stock. Um, I can't wait to take this thing on the trail. I should probably clean it up a little bit first, just so I can get it dirty again, but um, it's another day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. I think I'm done for the day. Take care. Tune in to the next episode when we take this thing on the trail, and we'll really see how it feels. We're going to test it against a race tech shock without the reservoir. So let's see how they do.